This is Teacher Berlin, and I will be your teacher for your English class today. We are now in quarter two of week five, day one. And for today's objective, we are going to sequence a series of events, listen or read to. Are you all ready to learn? Let's go! Now class, series of events, listen or read, can be arranged in order. Now here are the three tips. First, think of what happened in the beginning of the story. Next, think of what happened in the middle. There can be more than one event. And then lastly, think of what happened at the end. Let's learn what is sequencing. When we say sequencing, it refers to the identification of the components of a story. When we sequence, we need to recall the events in the beginning, the middle, and the end. And also, sequencing is the ability to retell the events within a given text in order which they occur. Now to learn more about sequencing, let us first read the story and try to find out how the events are arranged after it. Are you ready to listen? Now let's begin. Now the title of the story that we are going to read is about too much pay. Let us start. A woman got on a bus and some men arose and gave her their seats. She was such an unusually large woman that a small boy's attention was attracted to. The little boy sat there gazing at her wonder. Offended at the little boy staring, the woman said angrily, Little boy, what are you looking at me for? Ashamed, the little boy answered, I'm sorry, ma'am, there isn't any work to look at. Now here are the following events that happen in the story. Let us first read and analyze the events and after that, we will sequence the events in the correct order. Are you ready? Let's go! For sentence letter A, the little boy stared at her. Some men arose and gave their seats. A woman got on a bus. The woman said angrily, Little boy, what are you staring at for? The boy was ashamed and answered her. Now class, which event do you think happened first in the story? Good job! That is the sentence in letter C. A woman got on a bus. Now, the next event that happened is the sentence in letter B, which is, some men arose and gave the receipt, followed by the sentence in letter A, the little boy teared at her. 
than the sentence in letter D. The woman said angrily, Little boy, what are you staring at for? Lastly, the event in sentence letter E. The boy was ashamed and answered her. Class, did you get the correct answer? Very good! Now, the events are already sequenced in their correct order. Now class, don't forget, sequencing events is arranging of the events in the story according to how they happen. This can be the events happened in the beginning, middle, or at the end. Class, at that ends our lesson for today. Did you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented in your module. If today's lesson is very clear to you, congratulations! You may now answer the exercises in your module. See you again, kids, and good luck!